Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's Cece Clark here and if you haven't already, please do join the family. But today, we are, we're doing something a little bit fun. I'm gonna be trying on my pre-pregnancy clothes and also kind of sharing with you a few like essential items, body related from bras to waist straps, waist trainers, <laughs> and touching on my breastfeeding journey as well. But before we get into it, I just wanna say the secret's out, mate. Hot Ombre Smoke and Glow Collection is going live this Sunday, but I have spilled the tea, I've shown it on Instagram, so it's only right that I share with you, my YouTube family, my new Smoke and Glow palette, created by me. I've been creating this over the past year and a half, to be honest, and it's finally come to life. You've got your neutrals, smoky eyes, and then you've got your pop of colour. This is made up of a collection of colours that I personally could not live without, and after listening to you guys over the past six years, I know that there's something for everyone in here. And then we have my lip gloss, baby girl, in honour of my baby girl birdie. So this is the transformer gloss that will transform any colour into a light shifting, three dimension, juicy pout. But I'll let you explore the collection this weekend. Sign up for VIP access to shop early tomorrow and enjoy. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thank you so much in advance for your support. It has been such a challenge launching these products in the height of a pandemic and also as a new mum running multiple businesses. It's just a whirlwind. But here we are and we're about to get into this video. I cannot believe I'm about to try on my my, some of my favorite pieces of clothing that I adore and do you know what this video I don't know what way it's gonna go I don't know if they're gonna fit or if they're not gonna fit because I as you know have been living in onesies <laughs> it's the first time I'm actually wearing like a cardigan and a top because I literally wear always like a one piece not pajamas like actual loungewear clothing this cardigans from ASOS by the way I'll link that down below too but yeah, I've just been living it in cozy clothes. So I don't even know. The ultimate question is, will my jeans still fit? And girls, you know how hard it is <laughs> to get a good pair of jeans. And these are like my, my babies, my ultimate like favorite jeans that I will be sad a little bit if I don't fit into them. But this isn't a, oh, let's shame my body video. If anything, it's the opposite. It's appreciation for what my body's gone through. You know, I'm looking at myself now and I do have a different body, you know. I've got cellulite in places I didn't even know you could get cellulite and like everything's wobbly and I'm on a fitness journey which I'm also documenting to kind of bounce back because although lots of people have said wow you bounced back it's true to a certain degree because don't get me wrong I thought I thought I'd have a bump forever <laughs> but you know what I'm still a stone heavier than what I was before I was pregnant or even whilst I was pregnant like, I'm a stone heavier than what I was at like 16 weeks pregnant um, and that's okay. I am not on a journey to necessarily lose weight. I'm on a journey to kind of tone up and to get my fitness back because I've got unfit. <laughs> I'm out of breath when I'm on my walks these days. And I did give you guys a choice on my Instagram part. I said, what would you prefer? A brand new haul of all new clothes or me trying on my pre-pregnancy clothes and pre-pregnancy clothes, pull, that's a tongue twister, that one. So here we are. Best believe I'm gonna be doing a haul as well because if I don't fit, your girl needs new clothes. <sighs> Good American jeans. I think the last time I wore these was in LA with Jamie when we went and flew out with Dior and I wore them in LA and I just was like, <sighs> feel so snatched in these jeans and yeah let's talk about my body first then try on the clothes then talk about my essentials so first of all my boobs wow I had small boobs <laughs> growing up I had nothing and now yeah they are they're they're totally new to me as well like they look different like the nipples look different everything I know this is like TMI but this is what I'm here for um it helped me listening to other mums out there and hearing about the truths of their body changes and everything really i mean you've seen me give birth like this is definitely not too much information in comparison <laughs> yeah they look totally different they hang differently i'm not complaining personally because i had small boobs before and um i've got quite a short chest so they were always quite high whereas now they look a little bit more 
natural. <laughs> but I do have stretch marks on my boobs. So I didn't get stretch marks on my tummy. It's gone a little bit like a jelly belly, but I did get stretch marks on my boobs. I was a little bit sad about it at first, but you know, they fade and it's growth. What they're doing is keeping my little baby like alive and thriving and I'm feeding her and I'm enjoying every minute. Breastfeeding, I have to say, I took to fairly well at the hospital. I've been exclusively feeding her and oh, it's hot. But I'll get to that because I have a product recommendation actually, or a few. So my measurements are vastly different than before. In fact, I measure the same now as what I did at six months pregnant because I had a quite small bump. So um, even though I obviously got bigger, now I'm post baby, my measurements are similar to when I was 27 weeks pregnant, I think, which is crazy, like everywhere. These jeans are stretchy, so I'm hoping for the best. Again, I don't know if they're gonna fit or if they're not gonna fit, if they do, this isn't to make anyone feel bad. If they don't, this isn't to shame my body. This is a bit of fun and it's, you know, it's my way of just discovering all things new and sharing my curiosity and journey with you. Like, you do see the nitty gritty here. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a sausage. Ain't happening, is it? <laughs> okay, so they don't fit. They don't fit. They used to be loose, if anything. Um, not anymore. I've only got a highlight on one cheek. That's better. Smoke and glow, coming at ya. When I press in on my belly button, I can basically feel my intestines. <laughs> what next? <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, let's try on this suit, my favorite suit. I wore this to meet my idol, Simon Cowell. <laughs> and it's an absolute vibe, so size eight. I mean, I'm definitely not a size eight anymore. <laughs> Beautiful. How have my shoulders grown? This is like putting on a child's outfit. How did this even fit in the first place? <laughs> Just spat everywhere. Wow, imagine if I turned up to meet Simon Cowell looking like this. Favourite shorts to ever exist. Will they fit? Oh my gosh, I can't even get these past my bum. <laughs> okay, these jeans, I've had them for seven years and they've always fit for all seven years, probably until now. <sighs> They're not gonna do up. I'm sad because they don't do them anymore and I can't get them in a bigger size, so. Surely this will fit. Yeah, it's a size eight, but it's stretchy. I wore this to my friend Emily's wedding. It fits. Oh wait. <laughs> well, it's not like I've got anywhere to go, is it? Okay, up next, what is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Best TikTok ever. This little number. My Fenty dress. By the way, apparently Fenty's closing down. Not sure why, but yeah, that's the tea, sis. Oh, Fenty fashion, I mean. Um, but you know, Fenty beauty's like taking over the world, so why does she need to take over the world of fashion too? Come on, Rue, give us a break. Give her ombre a chance. <laughs> I mean, it is completely unwearable. Let's try over my head. Hold on a minute. I mean, you need a degree in fashion just to figure out how this goes together, let alone squeezing into it, but she fits, guys. I think she fits better than she did before. Yes. Good to twerk into, which is always a plus. And last but not least. <laughs> Cozy as it is, guys. Oh well, guys. Comfy clothes it is. It's not as if we've got anywhere to go. And at least I've got my birdie. Okay, let's sit down. I've got a few things to show you. Oh, actually, whilst we're stood up, let me show you the first thing. Because I've been using this. Um, not every day, maybe like three times a week for about four hours a day. And that is a waist trainer. I specifically typed in postpartum waist trainers because I wanted it to be suitable for afterbirth. You wrap it round. And the great thing about this is it has two extra bands. So I put one down low, which feels like it brings my kind of lower belly up and lifts it. And then I just kind of fasten this as tight as possible around the waist area. And you can see already it's like pulled in my waist massively, but it just helps me to tighten my core. Um, and I just try and wear this when I can remember, to be honest, I'm not strict with it. Haven't worked out wearing it yet. 
haven't worked out a lot yet anyway so yeah but this is my first recommendation I'm gonna list um, the few products I talk about in the description below for you so if you're wondering specifics then just click below but yeah I recommend this okay and as for bras I have discovered the most amazing bra that actually looks flattering as well as being very functional and again this is from Amazon so this bra is a breastfeeding bra or nursing bra whatever you want to call it and it kind of fastens really easily I've bought quite a few expensive ones from like ASOS and whatnot and they're quite faffy and difficult to clip on or not comfortable and don't fit properly but this it's not even like got proper sizing I bought a large it's only like small medium large extra large I don't know how um, how much it goes up but I got a large it comes with a pack of three you get a nude bra a black bra and a grey bra 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 <laughs> It's the bloody bee's knees. I really like it, it's really comfortable and honestly it gives you support and it makes your boobs look good too. So that's the best one I've found. I'm also living in these ones. Please ignore the state of it. I've worn it so much and it needs a wash. But this also comes in a pack of three. <laughs> literally milk stained but that's mum life um the only thing is the padding inserts uh don't really stay flat so I pulled them out but then when you leak it transfers through to your tops whereas these ones have almost a built-in kind of cup which soaks up the milk rather than letting it seep through to your clothes um which I think is better because the padding doesn't move around and then you obviously wash it every every day or so to be honest I wouldn't yeah it would be a crime not to list these ones below because I have lived in them but I prefer the new ones that I've got so they're my top bra recommendations now on to breastfeeding so I'm not going to go too much into the whole journey but as I said um, she latched on really well she's been feeding well ever since day one to be quite honest with you I didn't experience too much pain um, and I've got used to it I have touched on the baby blues that it gives me, still get a peculiar feeling when she latches on but all in all it's bearable and it's enjoyable and it's a nice bonding time for her. Um, I agree with fed is best not breast is best so whatever you're doing you're doing amazing. Um, I have given her formula twice um, on nights that I wanted to have a little bit of a drink but then I realised that you actually, well I was told by a lactation specialist that I could drink a couple of glasses. Um, and still be fine to feed her because really 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 small percentage gets into the milk if any at all um, and on that note so I don't have a specific routine but I feed her about four times a day and four times a night um, don't necessarily feed on demand anymore she's three months old and if she gets a little bit aggy in the day um, and she can settle with like being played with or you know being held doing other things then we kind of know that she doesn't need feeding again um so I feed her four times a day and I actually express one of those times so in the mid morning I express at about 11 that's or 12 that's like one of her first feeds after getting out of bed and um I pump on one boob and feed on the other because the letdown you naturally leak in the other boob when you feed anyway so and I really recommend I've been waving this around the LV breast pump um a little bit pricey I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent necessary but I also haven't tried any of the other uh, breast pumps I was kindly gifted this and it's been a miracle worker like I love it it's really great um and yeah I just put that on once a day I pump for however long she feeds for or until it's full it doesn't always get full because sometimes I have like next to nothing for some reason your milk flow is up and down and it's a bit weird but um yeah and then I freeze it so I'm building up building up my stock for when like I don't know I have to actually go out of the house and do a day's work um and I still want her to have formula with um Buzzy when she's looking after him not formula sorry breast milk when um he's looking after her I highly recommend this you can obviously get on with stuff on the go and that's exactly what I do breastfeed her sometimes I do just put it on and see what comes out you know and along the lines of breastfeeding so supplements I've been using Pregnacare breastfeeding after pregnancy kind of supplements and then I also take brewer's yeast I take about three of these a day this helps boost your milk supply um 
I haven't really had a problem with not having a milk supply, but I like to just know that I'm taking the supplements that would boost it anyway. It's no harm. Then also, what I've really enjoyed are these breastfeeding cookies by Boobix. They do, oh, I love the lactation hot chocolate as well, but again, they're delicious, um, but they contain ingredients that boost your milk supply, so. I mean, you're basically eating cookies for your baby. It's like, I've got to do it. I have to eat two cookies a day, it's like the rules. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to create a video based on all my baby essentials as well. Um, this is just touching on everything kind of body. This is body focused today, um, about postpartum wellness, trying things on, you know, a bit of fun. And last but not least, my favorite body lotion has been for years. Um, I haven't been using much, well actually, I have been using a few things for stretch marks, but I always change what I use for my stretch marks. So my main go-to moisturizer that also does hydrate your skin and therefore prevent stretch marks is the Summer Body Moisturizing Lotion by Garnier. And this also creates a sun-kissed glow. So it's like a gradual tan. Um, yeah, it includes apricot oil, so it like really does hydrate the skin and will, I don't know if it will really do anything for my stretch marks, but it makes me look like I've been on holiday when I haven't. <laughs> so there we have it guys, that was fun. I mean, I'm obviously gonna be working out. I'm going to be trying to get fit and who knows if I'll ever fit in my clothes again. Who cares really? Like, I love the body that I have now. It's created my beautiful baby girl um, and you know, I just wanna be fit and healthy and ultimately happy. It's not all sunshine, rainbows and unicorns, as you guys know, it's been challenging. I have days where I cry, I have days where I look in the mirror and I literally hate what I see. Like, I'm like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I'm done up for camera right now, but you've seen me in my vlogs, guys. I look like Hagrid sometimes, and that's okay. So I hope that you've had fun watching this and enjoyed it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. And also feel free to drop any suggestions for more videos or comments in the section below. I'll be writing back to you all. Um, and I will be uploading more videos such as a QA. and a So you can have your questions answered um, that way. I'll be doing that on Instagram and then obviously filming it for YouTube. And I'll also be uploading my must have uh, for post-pregnancy and also baby essentials. So everything that I've found that has been a waste of money and everything that I found that is literally is a must have and you can't live without. So I'm gonna try and gather everything together over the next couple of weeks to film that for you. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to sign up to be a VIP hottie at Hot Ombre because I want you to get the palette and the lip gloss before it's gone. I mean, we will be doing a restock. Um, if it sells out but you'll be able to grab it and have first dibs if you do sign up so yeah i'm so excited i appreciate all of your support and um i'll see you on the next one beauties love you lots Mwah. bye